All right, this is a tutorial on how to do the holes practice. I'm going to start with a new IPT part, create a sketch, pick a plane. I am going to use rectangle. This rectangle, if I click here and go over, it is 5 by 2. It is a 5 by 2 rectangle. And so I finished my sketch and I extrude it 3 inches. And now I have my block. Okay, this looks just like the block there. Okay, so now I start a sketch on the front. And I'm going to do this. There's a number of ways you can place your holes. I'm going to do it by using the point, by placing points. Now, if I move up and down here, you'll see I hit that little green dot right there. That tells me I'm in the center. So as long as I go here, and I'm not worried about where they are right now, I'm just two I just want to have them lined up three and that, and I know that they are all centered okay and in fact I can test that because if I click here and here it'll show you that at two inches tall and that is one inch okay I'm going to space them out and if you just do one inch for each of them I'm going to do it as a chain here two three you would never do this it would never look like this in your multi view but when you're just doing it to build you can put your dimensions anywhere it doesn't really matter and this would be four all right so now we got all that so i finished my sketch that'll get keep well it does keep all those and now i use this command my whole command okay now they all light up, they all are selected at the beginning. So I hold down the shift key, hold down the shift key, and I can click on those points and deselect them. Okay, so I start with just this one. Okay, so now what we do is we're using this over here. The first one is a, uh, you can hover over it, it's a counter bore. And it is at the bottom. This is... 0.25 across on the bottom and the top is 0.375 and that's a quarter down and it goes to a depth which would be if you look up here termination this is a distance this right now I've selected through all this is distance I click that one and now I can put down that I want a distance of one inch which is already there all right so I click OK and if I rotate it, you can see the counter bore look there and that it doesn't go all the way through. All right, now I've lost my points. Click on the little carrot next to the hole and this sketch, I can turn visibility on and they come back. So now we'll just do the other three the same way. Shift key, deselect, deselect. And this one is just a half. This goes a hole, just your basic hole. This right here means there is no other thing. It's just a straight hole. It goes all the way through, and it is one half of an inch. Okay, let me double check. Half inch through. Yep, boom. Okay, I click hole, deselect. This one is a countersink. That's this one here, the angled one. Oop, I got the right one here, yes. Countersink. And this one is half an inch. Okay, so this is half an inch. It does go all the way through. And the top part is going to be one inch. This right here is going to be one inch with an 82 degree angle there. Okay. And I believe I got everything. Okay, that's looking good. And my final one is a counter bore again. And you'll see there's a difference here. We don't do spot face. Counter bore. And the counter bore, the top counter bore, this part is. Let's get rid of all that. is 0.75 
and the hole itself is 0.5. Okay, that's correct. And it has a distance right here of half an inch. Okay. And, oh, that's that right? Um, no, no, no. This is two inches. Sorry. This is two inches. And this is half an inch. So 0.5 depth for that at 0.75, two inches and half inch. And bingo, bango. Okay. I'm going to go back in and right click on sketch and turn off the visibility so we don't have all that. And you'll see that looks like what we have in the drawing. Okay. So there's that. So I need to save that real quick. Hang in there. We'll save. I just want to save it to my desktop so I can find it easy. And because I have to use that for my, I need to do a. Oops, sorry, wrong one. I need to. Oh, I keep doing the wrong one. I am so sorry. I need the NSB multi view because I want to show you how to do the multi view. Okay. And we'll just put in Humphrey. And we won't worry about the period. Okay. I click the base. All right. So this is what I got. This I want to have down here. That is probably, let's see, one and a half. Can I do it? Uh, 0.75. Yeah, that's a little better. I'm going to do that at 0.75 here. And then I'm going to do the right side view and the isometric. I'm not going to do a top view right now because my top view is where I'm going to put my section. Okay. And so I'm going to click OK. Uh, let's take care of this one real quick and edit view and color it. Okay. And now I need to do my section view. So I need to go about to where the middle would be. Whoops, I got to click and drag. Click, hold down the mouse key, go all the way across. Click again when I get there. Come on. Right click, sorry. So hold the left bu mouse button down and, until you get all the way over there. Then right click and click continue. And that's going to go right there. Let me back that up and do that one more time. Okay, so I do section. Come right here in the middle. Hold the left mouse button down. Whoops. No, don't hold the left mouse down. Click the left mouse button. Go all the way across. When I get to where I want to go, right click the mouse button. And that didn't do it. See, this is why I, I had it the first time, didn't I? All right. So uh, I, click, I click here. Go all the way across. I double clicked left mouse button. Then I right click and then continue. All right, I'm not doing that again. So I left clicked, went all the way over here, double left click, then right click, and that creates this up here. Okay? So I'm going to uh, move this up a little bit because now we want to, under annotate tab, I want to put in my doo -doo -doo, hole and thread, this one right here. So uh, let's put our. these in here just click on those that will put things that I can dimension with that was this right here now I use my hole and thread click on that and you can see this has all my information put that there this one we can come out over here all right, so that tells you all that information. And then we can, just to be complete, do a, a, a dimension here. This is two inches, three inches, 
and then let's go let's be complete we'll do a chain dimension here whoops I don't normally put dimensions down here at the bottom but for this one gotta make sure you click the middle this is chain dimensioning because it's all going off of the same end here and I'm going to try to do the whole thing here I may have to move it up a little bit okay escape to get out of dimensioning and then let's move all that up so it fits and that's looking pretty sweet I think I got everything that I need and yes okay so this will be the, what your completed drawing would look like I need to see be able to see all of these whole notes and thread notes and the cross-sectional area here there you go